Hey, um, I just wanted to do a reading today. Um, I actually did the reading yesterday and I wrote it down. So I'm just going to relate it here real quick. Um, the reason why I did the reading was because I wondered why would someone want to steal something like army chemicals, chemical or chemicals. So, um, uh, this is not intended to be political. I just want to make sure I made that clear. Sometimes, well, a lot of times these days, you know, things are coming up to the surface, you know, um, and, you know, I do readings and I see bad stuff and pretty much all, all areas of society. So, um, regardless of political party or not, or race, religion, blah, 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 it's just, uh, what comes up? It's... You know, because I also see positive change, you know, happening in many areas. Because, but first, you know, first you have to, you know, have the dark come up to the light, you know. So I felt like the target might be <clears throat> based on <clears throat> some things from yesterday. <laughs> um, the, the chemicals or chemical or chemicals in an army facility, something that would be like North Philly, for example. You know, it may not be that specific location, but that kind of thing. And it doesn't have to be um, a known army facility. You know, if there's you know, somebody who is uh, has the um, permits or whatever it is to have that type of license to store that chemical, um, they may or may not be known that you're, they're, they're being stored for the army. But whoever went to go get them did. Um, anyways, so, um, let's see, I um, have my little <laughs> handwritten notes. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, um... I felt like the, um, the, the goal of the perpetrator, the reason why they're stealing these chemicals is because, um, <clears throat> they wanted to use the chemicals to make it look like it was the United States, you know, like there's markings on chemical containers or something like a serial number or, or, or uh, some kind of identification number or identifier number. I would say, yes, this is you know, from you know, U.S. Army, this is, you know, whatever um, organization or whoever <clears throat> has that, there's an identifier number. I mean, because I remember Russia or Syria, whatever it was, um, meaning I thought that there was a tie to chemical weapon, but they could tell by the type of chemical and how it was disseminated, but there's... Um, Signature. I don't know if it, it could even be a chemical count. The compound itself is a signature. I don't know. But an identifier so that it would make it look like it's the United States. Okay, so... So the... The person who... The group... Um, the perpetrator group... <clears throat> it's more than one person. It's a group. Um, <clears throat> they want to destroy the United States... Uh, credibility and reputation, um, so that it's all hypocrisy. Like, is that not too late yet? No, it's not. <laughs> Sorry, that was my own personal opinion. That's not for the rating. So, and as a result, other countries would be more likely to drop the U.S. dollar as a currency, which I think didn't Russia and China just do that? I'm not positive. <clears throat> so, you know, so what could happen as a result of this terrorism, terrorism attack being blamed on the United States is that um, other countries will drop the U.S. currency and this could cause a new currency to be introduced to the United States. <clears throat> Getting a little dizzy. Um, I usually see... Oh, and then when I did this reading yesterday... I saw this coin when I was <clears throat> at this part of the reading. 
And it looked like, you know, about the size of a, a dollar coin. And it was beautiful. It looked like it had, um, made, you know, made of metals. It was like, it was like a little bit heavier, so it was like real metals. Like, and it looked like it was either silver or silver colored metal and gold, gold colored metal, maybe even copper in there, but it was only a glance. <clears throat> but the idea would be that it would actually have actual value, the coin itself, instead of this piece of little piece of paper called a dollar bill represents a dollar, which, oh, hundred dollars, whatever, but it doesn't actually have value. But this coin <clears throat> would actually have um, <clears throat> value in and of itself. So this is part two of the reading on U.S. Army chemicals, or potentially. Use discernment, yada yada. This is a reading. This is not, no, this is not 100% accurate, blah, blah, blah. Just discernment. So, anyways, <clears throat> there are actually a lot of groups that could benefit from the U.S. Um, having a reputation that's damaged. But I personally had a thought, and <laughs> this is just my opinion, okay? Um, but to me, from my perspective, it seems to be groups of people from the Democratic part, side of the... I'm sorry, the Democratic faction side of the deep state. So there's... <clears throat> At least two different factions. Two main ones. Republican, Democratic. But it doesn't follow exactly like that because it's across all the countries. So it's not just one country or part of a country or a Democratic Party. But there's factions throughout the world. But anyways. But you can clearly see defined <laughs> factions with Democratic and Republican. That's where it's most obvious in the United States. Um... So, keeping in mind that the deep state is both parties, it's all parties, it's all fact. I mean, it's all, all over the world, all countries, pretty much, so, it's kind of a big effort. <laughs> but anyway, so, true or not true, that was my impression, and so, um, uh, if I feel... To do so, I'll do a follow-up reading on this. If not, I'll move on to the next one. So, keep watching. Have a great day.